It's bird time. It's bird time. It's more bird time. Okay. We're, we're birding it. It's pigeon time again. Yeah. Once more. Folks, we're never gonna stop with this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Until we run out of game, that is. Which, you know, there's not that whole... A whole lot of game to begin with. We'll see. Maybe we'll be surprised. But we're diving in. Uh, we have romanced one bird. And now... We have more birds to romance. That's, that's the name of the game. I know who we are romancing today. We are not displaying any goddamn human portraits. No. no. Ew. Ew. That's we're, gross. We're going for a pretty pigeon anyway. Ooh, that is true. That is true. So here's all what right. we're gonna do. Blah 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 yeah. blah blah Yeah. You know blah, all blah, about blah, this, blah, folks. Blah, blah. Skipping to the first choice. Uh-huh. There's teacher Nanaki. There, there ooh, Sakuya. Ooh, ooh, how about that? Shh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, eh. Returning mm -hmm. books to the library? Sure. Guess you know what? what? Keep on skipping. Keep on skipping. Yeah. The first choice is on the 11th. Gotcha. We are just introducing the, the crew. Y'all know about Once the crew. Once more, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get to you. Don't you worry about it. We're gonna but get to all of you. <sighs> oh god, so much. Yeah, yeah, the German doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doctor Shu. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Okusan! The Lord of Pudding. By the way, I looked it up. Uh huh. Like, pudding can be many things. <laughs> what is pudding? Okay, so pudding is like. It used to be mostly used as like a savory main dish thing and it sort of still is like in the UK, the word I mean. But uh, by yeah. now it's kind of shifted to being like a desserty thing. Because I know like a Yorkshire pudding is nothing like the pudding no, you and me like think that, of. Those are two different things altogether. And then also the use of the word pudding. Can I just say that Yorkshire a... pudding is goddamn amazing? Mm. Okay. But like pudding, what like an American or a Canadian would refer to as pudding, like... Uh, which is like a milk based thing that's sort of either like, you know, m made floopy or something with starch or gelatin or something is called curd jelly or what is the other word? Custard or something in Great Britain or in the Commonwealth. Uh. So these are just all different words for a similar thing. What's the and dividing line between a pudding and a mousse? <laughs> I think... Isn't a mousse a cream-based thing? Uh, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Like, a mousse just... You don't actually need to put any starching thing in there mm. because it's 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 whipped cream-based, sort of, mostly. Yeah. When I was a little kid, I was super into chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. I, I, just, I loved the chocolate pudding until I discovered chocolate mousse. Mm. And I could never go back to pudding. Mousse au chocolat is amazing. I, it makes some for me. Remember that I made you a mousse au chocolat cake for your birthday? I do. Oh. It was amazing. Oh. Anyway. And like, I couldn't find out whether or not you can swim in pudding. Only people wondering the same thing and having opinions that <laughs> go either way. However, the Mythbusters showed that you can swim in syrup, if that's of any help. I'm not sure if that's of any help. You can't swim in it well, but you can. I don't know. Hmm. That, that's That's... That's as much as I, I don't can think find that out. answers the question of the buoyancy of pudding. I don't know, honestly. I couldn't find out. Folks, Apparently, no one's This tried. will remain a mystery until someone well, with a lot of money decides well, to buy there, a whole lot of pudding. Aren't there all these weird, like, YouTube channels that are like, today I bought an entire store's worth of shit, or today I <laughs> filled my <laughs> mom's house with, with these bouncy balls or something? I mean, one of them's. I love how it was. I bought an entire store's worth of shit. And now I'm going to see if I can swim in shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, let, okay, fine. Stuff. I bought an entire store's worth of stuff. Manure. Or something, yeah. I think it, it 
the probability of being able to swim in shit is higher than manure, because like manure has a lot of like fiber content. But manure, but manure is shit, isn't it? Yeah, but I was thinking human shit as opposed to. Oh. Let's not go there. See, out like because of how fetishes work, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that it's more likely that the question "Can you swim in human shit?" has been answered than the question "Can you swim in pudding?" <sighs> this has been tried. Someone has tried this. I I don't want to think about this anymore. I, don't I think regret you... even saying the word shit earlier. I, I regret you... my potty mouth. I, I will don't... only use pretty words from now on. Now, let's get the fuck on to recording this. I think this video cannot be found on YouTube. I think you'd have to go to Live Leak. <laughs> What's that? That is all the videos that you can't play on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Well, today we're going to join the student council. Student council. How about that, folks? Yeah, student, student council. council. Ooh, we're gonna hang out with with Draco Malfoy. Mm -hmm. Draco Malfoy, who has uh, two endings, and unfortunately, uh, they they separate pretty early on. They separate based on what classes you go to. Gotcha. So we're gonna do. The, the problem is this. For the true ending, you have to do music class every day, and for the other ending, the normal ending, you have to pick other subjects, I guess. So ev anything but music class. It, it didn't say it like that, it's mostly... I would do it like that? I don't know if that means that you can pick music class, but also have to pick others in between. You know? Just go exactly by the, the guide. Tell me every choice I should make. Well, yes, but in, in, in this case, I, I say we go for the normal ending first. Normal ending first, always, then true okay. ending. Well, that means that we're not going to music class. Does it matter if I pick math or gym? Nope. Okay. I don't think so. Math class it is. If this is wrong, we're just going to have to repeat everything we're doing here with the correct choices. Sure. Well, let, let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it. But what does the council do again? You've been in student council, haven't you? In not high school, though. Oh. Uni. Uni. I've never been in a student council. I always thought I was too good for those pricks. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> it's just... It was like, a why lot am of... I going to waste my time with these plebeians? They can't understand me. Well, I have more important things to bother my mind with well, and these petty administrative it, blah blah blahs it depends like student council for my year um when i was that it was just mostly just like administrative stuff like moving around schedules and just like essentially talking like to the dean of the department about like issues that we had or uh, sure. Issues that they had, I organized like the insurance for lab equipment that we got as students, so that we wouldn't have to pay for everything that we trashed. Like I'm gonna apologize for saying this, but my view on student councils, like both in high school and uh, when I was in in uni as well, when I was in law school, was that um, the people who join up for student council are the people who really desperately want to have good grades but aren't and, and like just good student honors and good merits and stuff but they aren't smart enough to do it just through studies so they have to tack on all of this extracurricular stuff just to make up for their lacking intelligence well damn no you're shitting on me are you <laughs> well my love I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I was actually a very good student. One of the reasons that I did it and could do it was that I didn't quite need as much study time. So I had the time to do this. Mm. And um, I actually, like in the first year, I did it because like literally nobody wanted to do it. And you know me, when there is something that needs to be done and no one does it, then I'm going to do it. Yeah. No. So I essentially won through lack of competition that year, and from that year on, it was just like, well, you did it last year, you have to do it again, and then 
I actually uh, ended up being like the student representative for the entire department because the person who actually uh, was responsible for that like had to be hospitalized for something. Boko. And I had agreed to be like her her deputy or vice or whatever in the beginning of the year thinking I was never going to have to do anything. Mm-hmm. Because, like, why would the first person ever, like, have to leave, right? Only then she had, like, some really big health issues and she was in the hospital for months and suddenly I had to sit in, like, meetings with the, with the administration. It was super boring. All right, so I get it. You didn't want to be be that into it, but I'm, I'm going to say... <laughs> And I know, I know you're a very intelligent person, so I'm not particularly shitting on you. Yeah. But I am saying that the stereotype I have of the type of person who does the student council thing, I'm I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I'm gonna say it is. Well, I I I think there are different motivations. There are the people who are all about like I have to I have to make something of myself. I have to have people know me or what. And then there's just. Like the organizers, essentially, and and I am the latter, and have been right. for a significant chunk of my life. The one that's like, the let's see that we've got stuff to to eat for people and and whatnot. Like you know, I do that on holidays as well. So it's just, and there's plenty of other people who did that as well. And like we organized parties, we just had fun. Essentially, we got everyone connected. I wasn't like at a huge school, so I think I think that helped. But honey, you're making it sound like just, you know, you provided an, a, a valuable resource and, you know, you were an asset and all of that. And and I want to have this mental image of student council people just being these sort of self-important tryhards who aren't actually all that smart. Well, you know what? I think I... Th- okay, so here's the thing. Like, I was in a natural science department. Yeah. And like... A lot of the students there aren't really the whole political networking people. They exist, but they're far and in between. But when I was like on the student council for like the entire department and had to interact with like the other, like in whatnot, like people who were doing marketing or business yep. administration. Holy mother of God! Like I'm sitting there, like I'm a student, right? So I'm wearing I'm wearing like jeans with holes in them, and my shoes are. I don't know, old and shitty, and I'm just, like, I essentially look like a female version of Jesus, just, you know, <laughs> coming from, from her mountain sermon or something, and they're sitting there in a suit and tie, and one of them mm. even used to wear a hat, and, and like, having, like, really big speeches, and I was just sitting there, and I'm like, I was mostly fine with everything, and I'm like, parties? Yeah, sure. Somebody needs to help with this or provide information? Sure, but, like, you're right. It's probably context based, based on like what you're studying and but stuff. Like, because law, law is like that as well. There are so many fucking ass kissers and suck ups and just people who who are obsessed with prestige yeah. and stuff. But the majority of my co students were just super cool, laid back people, in my opinion, anyway. And so we're our professors, like in the, in the biotech department. So really, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, folks. It's fine. The student yeah. council is fine. All right. <laughs> oh, we skipped the vote. And I think it's only Sakuya and me. So the student council is two people and one of them is the president. Oh boy, that's a interesting power dynamic right there. Does that mean I get to call you, ooh, Mr. Mr. President? I don't know. Anyway, he called the meeting, so to the council room I go. <laughs> Okay. Wow. This looks like a CEO's office. I mean, naturally, do you think I would stand for anything less? So, is the implication that he just, the first order of business as student president uh, was to just redecorate the entire office? Uh, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sakuya. So, you had this done? <gasps> this room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than us. Ooh, us. I like Mm it. We're already a team. What the prig? What's a prig? Like a self-important asshole, kind of. I haven't haven't heard that word before. A prig. I have. I learned a new word today. 
Have you decided which position you will take? Uh, I uh, I looked it up in a book, and I would be what you refer to as a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> We've been over this. <laughs> I get to choose. He has the hole in this scenario. <laughs> Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Mm. Oof. Aren't you Japanese too, Sakuya? Do not mock me. I am French. Oh, shall I give him a little bit of the yes, French accent? Yes, a, a little bit. Just a little, a, a hint of it. Oh God, but I'm so bad at French accents. <gasps> a French noble bird. That sounds delicious. Mm. I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the vice president. And we're still going normal ending here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. vice president. Like, all the choices are the same. It's just which classes you go to, apparently. But they're, they're, it's only us. We are the only two people who are on the, the team. Which choice you make has an impact. Fascinating. Yes. I can't do Draco Malfoy and French. Accent, Try it. Though. Try it. If it's bad, <laughs> that's better. No, I, I just... You wish to be my right? No, I can't. Do it. No, I mean, I already failed like in the first sentence. I can either be like full like, you wish to be my right wing. <laughs> I, I don't even know like, I can't properly do French accent in English. You, I can't. This is a person who actually speaks French, okay? I can't do a proper German accent either and I'm German <laughs> for fuck's sake. I'm just bad at accents. I'm saying... I'm saying a bad, horribly botched mix of Draco and French is funny. And funny is content. And this channel is all about the content. Okay. You <clears> must <throat> suffer for let, our viewers. Let me, let me try again. <laughs> I, f I, feel like, I feel like you're just forcing me into the worst horrible accents ever in this playthrough. Ah. Oh. You wish it to be my uh, right wing? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> this is the best. This is this is the voice now. Shut up. You you have, you have no choice in this matter. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. You've got nerve. I like that. Jesus, this is hot. This is some hot shit. This is doing stuff for me. I think I just got bonded with. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Gosh, he looks pretty happy right now. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> and so I became vice president of the student council. Fascinating. <sighs> Where are we going with this? Aha, uh -huh. tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? No. No. But I'll obviously, have some you talk to Sakia. To I talk to Sakia? Yeah. Da 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 da. <gasps> this is you. Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> In a temper, as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this and on foot? Hmm. It's a hike, Sakuya. You have to walk. For what purpose? His exercise? Foolishness! Exercise is for les besoins. <laughs> no, for fun! You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here. Don't we have a nice view? <laughs> Sakuya looks like he still has something to say, but he reluctantly comes over to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, snuggle up. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. Ah. 